Hi there! It's me again, Pastor Butch and Rilly, and welcome to Digital Gospel, a 30-minute word of encouragement from the Bible and here in Community Christian Center. This evening, I would like to greet all my family, my friends, my parents in Mignanilla, and members of Pickup Truck Club, or PTC, and different biker groups here in Cebu, like MSCP, XRCPI, XR Riders, Real Bros, Outsider MC Maktan Chapter, Watch Enthusiast Rolex Club, and Mga Kuya sa Kadaugan sa Maktan, Kesmik, Eagles Club, and PNP MRP or Moral Recovery Program. I would like also to greet all our members of Community Christian Center, our Senior Core Associate Pastor of CCC, and our Senior Pastor Bishop Edgar L. Bantigi, and the Reverend Edna R. Bantigi. I'd like also to greet all our friends. We have pastors all over the Philippines of Christ Faith Fellowship, and Brother Mike Chua, and Brother Mike Hudson, and all of you who are watching this right now, I hope that you will enjoy tonight's episode. God bless you. And I know that God has been faithful and good in your life. So just enjoy your special day. This song is for you. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me all my days. I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God Cause all my life you have been faithful Cause all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire and in darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived In the goodness of God And all my life you have been and all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God It's your goodness is running it's running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me With my life laid down I'm surrendered now I give you everything Cause your goodness is running after It's running after me Your goodness is running it's running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me With my life laid down I'm surrendered now I give you everything Your goodness is running after It's running after me All my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able 
I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful Cause all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God Good evening, everyone. I hope that you're doing good and you are safe together with your family and with your friends. I hope that God is going to continue to bless you as you continue to watch this 43rd episode of Digital Gospel Commission to Evangelize. I just want to say also a big thank you to my cousin, Jephthi, all the way from Manila, who gave this beautiful song number. That is one of my favorite songs, Go. God bless you always in your career in the Philippine Army also in your career in your singing god bless you and for more to come i just want to say a big thank you to all the pastors here in lapu lapu city who collaborated supported and joined the first ever bible month celebration at hoops dome it's always good to fellowship with amongst believers pastors and friends job well done and hopefully next year is going to be a better and greater event to come let's look forward to that and this evening as we begin let us start with a prayer so let us pray father god in heaven we thank you lord for this wonderful day that you've given to us thank you lord for your protection thank you lord for your grace i pray father that as your word will be released this evening i pray lord that you will bless everyone that hears it you know our needs you know our desires father i pray lord for your blessings to flow i pray lord for your word that will hit our hearts and bring meaning and bring comfort and blessing to us thank you lord for your love and we give back the honor and glory to you in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen now this evening i just want to say that the lord is good despite all the things that is happening in our lives the things that's going on in our society and our government the lord is still good we should always be thankful we should always be grateful for the things that happen to our lives because everything that happens in our life is uh, the will of god and has a purpose we just need to find out the lesson that we can learn from that the lord is good and it's important we tell it everywhere we go now if you have your bibles with you um, allow me to read from nahum chapter 1 verses 7 and it says the lord is good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust him that's an instruction that we must always look upon god we must trust in him because he is good and he is our savior now nahum was counted the uh, uh, highest amongst the minor prophet even the name nahum means comforter you know he's a native from galilee now our text this evening from Nahum chapter 1 tells us a message of tranquility in times of trouble. It talks about peace of mind in times of peril. It releases a message of comfort in times of chaos. My friends, in everywhere we go right now, or when we watch TV, listen to the radio, or look through the internet, we rarely find a peace of mind from all the chaos in this world. It adds stress into our minds and in our in our way to cope all these troubles we find ways to go out of our limits to go and travel we go to long trips with our family we go to the beach we go to the mountain or ride our motorcycles or spend time to be alone or having a, a me time but to be honest with you you just need to just sit down relax and be at home and talk with the lord jesus christ we need to strengthen our prayer. We need to strengthen our spiritual maturity that we can talk to Jesus Christ and ask Him to give us comfort, to give us tranquility, to give us peace of mind. And that's the only time that we can truly enjoy the peace that comes from God. 
is when we kneel down and we pray. Now, the Lord God is a good and powerful Savior. He is there to always guide us in everything that you do. And He is not just, uh, not like we, we say that He is a divine dictator or a tyrant, but He is a judge as well as our Savior. We are all saved by grace. And it's still time. Allow that grace to come in your life by changing your perspective of life, changing your priorities, the things that you seem to have trouble with, put it in the feet of God. Allow Him to change your life because He alone can transform you as we learn from the process that is from Him, only from Him. Now, the greatest evidence of God's love and the goodness is what He has done on that cross. Jesus Christ died for our sins, your sins and mine. You know, the fall of mankind in the Garden of Eden was the beginning of sin. Now, it is something that you and I are not exempted from it because by birth, we are, we are, we are sinful. We have that sinful human nature. And it is through Jesus Christ who died on that cross to save our sins to wash our sins away and all that burden that we are carrying every day of our lives it is only through Jesus Christ and his blood that we can redeem ourselves because of Jesus Christ and we need to follow that what it says in the Bible that for all have sinned and have fall short of the glory of God and it's only because of Jesus Christ that who paid the debt on that cross for us to be renewed and can receive that eternal life. Now you can find that in Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 25 and you see how amazing God is. He created the heavens and the earth. He created the animals, the plants, and He created man. And He is a supreme being that sometimes we underestimate His power. The power of God is so beautiful. It is so precise. And it's always so timely. And the greatest demonstration of that love and mercy is when He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, for us. Now, the second stronghold of the days of trouble declare God's protection over our family. It is a place of protection in times of trouble. It is a walled city long ago wherein early settlers in their forts find security, find um, the, the, the quiet place and that quiet place is to be in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ trouble comes from to every life out there but when we have the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives who can be against us you know we have to we have to view life that we cannot live life on the, the, the mercy of our fears and he doesn't want us to be forsaken or to be punished that's why it's really important that we come to the Lord in reverence because He alone can take us from this burden, this fear, and this anxiety. Now, the greatest evidence of God's goodness was revealed on the cross when He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, to die. His only Son, Jesus Christ, was, was slain for our sins. He paid our death on that cross. He even turned away when he saw his son taking up all the sin of the world. That's the love of God in our lives. The greatest demonstration of love and mercy that only comes from the Lord. The crucifixion and the risen Savior shows God's divine goodness. And it is important that we know that when someone has died for our sins, someone paid the price so that we are, we are free from all condemnation that is out there. Now, the second one I want to talk to you about is the stronghold in the days of trouble. God's protection is always over our family. Even when times don't seem that there is God in the middle, He is always there for us. We just need to close our eyes and have faith and believe in Him that He alone can take us, can pick us up from these perilous things in our lives. It is a place of protection in times of trouble. 
He is a walled city, just like in the olden days, where early settlers built forts, castles, and hide themselves. He is that fortress. Trouble comes to every life, but the Lord meets us there. In John chapter 16, verse 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. And in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. I know, friends, we are living in the 21st century. Um, life is not going any better, any smoother. We're always living in a survival mode. Um, our plans for the future may differ from the plans that we have during 2018. And it's hard to plan for what is ahead because anything can happen. But I just want you to exercise your faith in the Lord. At this point in your life, regardless of age, regardless of what situation that you're in, just take this moment we're in that you can contem contemplate on God's amazing love for you and I. You just offer your life to Him and ask Him to help you, protect you in all the things that is going on in our lives today. In times of sickness, in times of emotional stress, in times of depression, or in times of financial challenges. I know um, we, we work hard in life. We, we always take things that because we, have, we are a person who have studied well, well-educated, well-experienced. We have rose amongst all challenges in life. We sometimes think that we can achieve everything on our own. And you're wrong. We all need the help that comes from God. Some of the things that happens in our lives are the product of the sinful ways that we have uh, done in our lives. The thinking that we can always achieve it on our own. But it's always good to to look at the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask Him. Help. Ask help from Him. Just like the footprints in the sand. When you look at the footprints, you see two footprints. But at the end of the journey, you see only one. And these are the journeys that you were alone, and you were in doubt, and you were lived in fear, not knowing and realizing that it was not your set of footprints. It was the footprints of God carrying you in these times of trouble. Number three, he knows them that trust in him. Speak of our personal walk or personal walk with God. The privilege of being known by God is something that is unpaid for. When we know that God is with us, who can be against us? In John chapter 10 verses 1 to 5, it says, Very truly, I tell you Pharisees, Anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in the some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and his sheep listens to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follows him because they know his voice. In verse 5, But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize the stranger or a stranger's voice. My friend, when we belong to him and we are his flock, we know his voice. When he is our shepherd, we know when he calls us. Those that enter through the gate, are his but those that climb through the walls are thieves now i tell you once we know that we are his sheep and he is our he is our shepherd he will always be there for us his rod and staff will always be there to protect us in all sort of danger but we must follow him we must yield our life to follow him now, in conclusion, the Lord is always good. He will always protect us. He invites us to dine with Him in that banquet. And that banquet is the feast in heaven. My friends, I don't know where you are right now in, in your life. May it be in finances. But do not be ashamed to proclaim the word of God. Tell the people around you 
that you are a Christian. You love God. Preach His word. Tell people that God loves them as He has loved you. And you will see the transformation in your life. I, I even felt when I was, I was not even a pastor. I was always ashamed to share me being a Christian or me holding a Bible or praying for someone because I was insecure. I, I didn't know what to do. But then I experienced the love of God in my life and He has transformed me. I never lived a life as a saint or will be like a saint. But one way or another, I yield my life to Christ and allow Him to transform the very being of me. And He will transform you. No matter where you are in life, no matter where 2021 brings us, it is always good to have God by your side. Allow Him to touch your life by having a relationship with Him and following His voice, listening intently, opening that earthly or he earthly ears for a spiritual heavenly ears. Open your eyes and see what God can do in your life when you allow Him to. And I will end with this verse in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrows. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Now the Word of God is a living Word. And it will penetrate our heart to the deepest core. And it is not something that we should be scared of. But it, it, it should be something that would, we should find comfort in. Because the love of God is so great. It's so, it's, it's so comforting. It, it brings compassion. My friends, don't be ashamed. We need to mature in God. We need to yield our life. And to be sure that what 2021 brings, we can pull ourselves through it. It's going to be tough, but it's always safe when we are in the hands of God. Just allow Him to. And in these times of confusion, in these times of depression and anxiety, I pray that you will find time to, to separate yourself th from the, the world that we live in. And just come to the Lord in prayer. Humble down. Take yourself out of the picture and allow God to manifest Himself in your life and you will see the results of your humility my friends god bless you always let us pray father god in heaven we thank you lord for this wonderful evening as we shared your word from the book of nahum their god lord you are good and you're always there for us always listening protecting us from all uncertainty uncertainties of life i pray father that you will continue to guide us protect us in everything that we do Keep us strong. Keep us healthy. I pray, Lord, that this COVID will end and our lives will come back to normal. I pray, Father, for those still looking for jobs, for trying to stabilize their business or trying to work their, their jobs. Their God. I pray, Lord, that you will always be there for them, protecting them in all their travels and all their endeavors, Father. Lord, I pray for our family that, Lord, that, Lord, that you will provide for those who are hungry, that you will give food to eat. Lord, I pray for everyone out there. I pray, Lord, for our government, for our president, their God. I pray, Lord, that everything will go according to your will and to your plan. Help us, O oh Lord, that we can survive from all these difficulties that come into our lives. Lord, we trust in you because you are good and you are faithful to us. And we honor you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, you take care of yourself. Be healthy, be strong, have faith, and always thank God in everything that you do. Every morning that you wake up is always a blessing. Let us be grateful for the things that we do not see. And let us appreciate the things that we have. Because God is always there for you, waiting every time that you knock for Him. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you in the next episode. God bless you always.